A day after a bill banning transgender athletes was passed, Governor Tate Reeves says that he will sign the bill. The governor says he is trying to protect young girls. Opponents of the bill say it sends a harmful message. 12 News' Tal Ta has reaction from the Capitol. Tal? Well, Byron, after the so-called Mississippi Fairness Act passed the legislature and went to the governor's desk, opponents of the bill are weighing in on its potential impact on the Magnolia State and its youth. Mississippi could be the first state in the country to put anti-transgender legislation on the books. This is something that's completely unnecessary and goes completely against who we are. Senate Bill 2536 prohibits transgender athletes from competing on women's sports teams in the state's high schools and universities. Republican Senator Angela Hill sponsored the bill, which has the back of the Mississippi Center for Public Policy. Governor Tate Reeves also backs the bill. After I reached out to his office, he tweeted in part, I will sign our bill to protect young girls from being forced to compete with biological males for athletic opportunities. It's crazy we have to address it, but the Biden executive order forced the issue. The ACLU says it sends a harmful message to transgender youth and that there are other pressing issues right now. It's deeply frustrating and it's, it's disheartening because we have so many real issues in our state that we as a collective um, group of folk, collective group of Mississippians all uh, face. And he says these kinds of bills can be just the start. Whenever you try to discriminate in this one area, what you're saying is, you know, we can discriminate and prevent you from being able to play basketball or play football or play any type of sport. We can also prevent you from being able to to go to an apartment, to, to run an apartment, you know, provide you with health care that you need, um, kick you out of a restaurant. Those are the type of things that come from this type of thinking. Dorch thinks the bill's future could end up in the courts. Now, the human rights campaign says it would be the first piece of anti-transgender legislation to be sent to a governor's desk. Byron and Melanie.